The path of knowledge is the way to Jannah. The path of knowledge is the way to Jannah. Jannah. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen, as-salatu wa salamu ala Sayyidim Ursaleen. Amma ba'd fa'adhu billahi minash shaytani rajim. Bismillahi ar-Rahmani ar-Rahim. As-salatu wa salamu alayka ya Rasulallah. As-salatu wa salamu alayka ya Habiballah. As-salatu wa salamu alayka ya Nabiyallah. Wa ala alika wa ashabika ya Nurallah. Alhamdulillah, here's the Wajal, another episode of Path to Success. And mashallah, today we have an amazing topic, mashallah, that we will be discussing with our panel. This is such a thing that we will be discussing today, that whatever your needs are, literally whatever your needs are in this world and in the hereafter, you want a good life, you want your du'as to be accepted, you want to have barakat in your sustenance, whatever your needs are, you do this one particular thing that we will be discussing today, inshallah, Zawajal, by the will of Allah, all your desires will be fulfilled. And if you look in the hereafter, you want a good death, you want to die with Iman, you want to have comfort in the grave, you want to have comfort on the Day of Judgment, you want to enter Jannah, inshallah, Zawajal, this is one thing, inshallah, Zawajal, that will definitely help us. And what is this one thing that we will be discussing today? This is the blessings of reciting through the path upon the Prophet, sallallahu alayhi wa at times it could take us, it could maybe take us a couple of seconds to decide one Dhru De Park, if that. But the power of Dhru De Park is absolutely huge. That we see many blessings because of reciting of Dhru De Park in this world. And we will see many in the hereafter, inshallah. So today, uh, with our panel, inshallah, we have our Maulana Khalid Madani Sahib, mashallah. Our uh, great brother Abdul Hanan Bai and our Maulana Asim Madani Sahib, mashallah. So this uh, panel today, inshallah, we'll be discussing this topic. The first uh, segment of today is puzzle of the day, inshallah. So a word will be shown, the letters will be slightly uh, mixed up, and it will be your job to find out what the correct word is. The path of knowledge is the way to Jannah. Jannah. Gee, that's the puzzle of today, inshallah. Uh, just before we go for um, our first kalam of today, inshallah, Zawajal, a one of the blessings of reciting through the park that uh, I will begin with, inshallah. That at, t at times in our life, you know, sometimes we misplace something, we put something here, we can't find it, you know, we're all over the place trying to find something. Uh, but it's a hadith of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, that whenever you forget something, send drood sheaf upon me, it will come to your mind and you, inshallah, azawajal, will find that particular thing, inshallah, azawajal. So this is the blessing of reciting drood park, inshallah, azawajal. Sallu ala al-habib sallallahu ta'ala ala Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Jusa sab, uh, first kalam of today, inshallah, azawajal, uh, we will listen to Abu Mawlana Asim Madani Sahib, inshallah. Sallallahu alayka ya Rasool Allah Wa sallam alayka ya Habib Allah حقیقت کتنی ہم سے سو لاکھ کو کافی ہے اشارہ تیرا اور دکھوں نے جو گھیر 
میرا ہے تو درود پڑو دکھوں نے جو گھیرا ہے تو درود پڑو جو حاضری کی تمنا ہے تو درود پڑو یہ نام کوئی کام بگڑنے نہیں دیتا کہ بگڑے بھی بنا دیتا ہے یہ نام محمد صلی اللہ علیہ کا یا رسول اللہ وسلم علیہ کا یا حبیب اللہ ملج پالا دلڑ لگیاں میرے تو ہم پرے رہنے میں لج پالا دلڑ لگیاں میرے تو ہم پرے دا 
मंगता मेरे पल्ले बरे रे मैं लज पाला दे लड़ लगिया मेरे तो हम परे beautiful kalam recited by our Maulana Asim Madani sahab mashallah uh, today's topic blessings of reciting the Rude Park inshallah uh, it's a humble request that you try to watch this program till end inshallah because there are many things that we will be discussing and how we can benefit how our desires can be fulfilled how our du'as can be accepted how we can get the betterment of both worlds inshallah uh, we'll begin with our Maulana Khalid Madani sahab inshallah you sahab have a very Beautiful topic today, inshallah, uh, regarding the root sheaf, inshallah. Uh, yes, Osim, mashallah. Very, very beautiful and very, very beneficial topic. Uh, the sending blessings and salutation upon the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam, and no doubt uh, that this is a wajib, necessary for a believer to send drood upon the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam once in his life. Allah. You know, there are certain rules and certain rights of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam over his. Uh, ummati. So one of them sending drood upon the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. And why not? Because Allah subhanahu wa taala clearly mentioned in the Holy Quran, Inna Allaha wa malaikatahu yusalluna ala nabi. Ya ayuha aladina amanu sallu alaihi wasallimu taslima. Which mean, indeed, Allah subhanahu wa taala and His angels send blessings upon the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Oh, the one you believe. Recite Dhruud oh, upon the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and a lot of salutation. Mashallah. So Allah and His Messengers, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, send Dhruud. That, ay Iman, wala tum bhi mere mahboob par Dhruud bhi bhejo 
اور سلام بھی بھیجو سو دس از اے تھنگ دا اللہ عز وجل ہمساف ڈز از ویل اینڈ دا اینجلز ایگزیکٹلی لک دا علماء ہیز منشن دیر سرٹن ادرز اوبلیگیٹری ایکشن اپن اے بلیور دا اللہ سبحانہ وتعالی کمانڈڈ ان دا ہولی قران لائک اقیم الصلاه اسٹیبلش دا پریئر جی جی با ہی ڈیڈنٹ ریڈ پریئر ہم سیلف دیٹس رائٹ و اتو زکاہ اللہ سبحانہ وتعالی اوردر ٹو گیو چیریٹی اوبلیگیٹری چیریٹی ان دا وے اف اللہ سبحانہ وتعالی با ہی ڈیڈنٹ پے ہم سیلف سیمیلر حسن سلوک with the other peoples but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala one action that he order in the holy Quran and he is also performing according to his shan that Allah tabarak wa ta'ala ne ek hukum Quran mein aisa bhi diya hai ke jo nabi kareem alayhi salatu wasalam par durood Allah tabarak wa ta'ala khud bhi bhejta hai aur apni shan ke mutabik aur phir wo aisi ibadat hai ki bakiya ibadat jo aksar hai wo Allah tabarak ne hukum diya hai lekin khud wo ada nahi farmata kyunki he don't need anything لیکن یہ ایک ایسا عمل ہے کہ اللہ تبارک و تعالیٰ خود بھی ارشاد فرماتا ہے اور پھر فرشتے بھی کرتے ہیں اور پھر اللہ تبارک تعالیٰ نے اپنے محبوب کی عمدیوں کو بھی اس بات کا حکم عطا فرمایا اچھا تینوں تین چیزیں ہیں یعنی اللہ کا درود پڑھنا فرشتوں کا درود پڑھنا اور عام امتی کا درود پڑھنا دا علماء ہیز مینشن وین اٹس مین دا اللہ سبحان و تعالیٰ سینڈنگ درود اپان دا پرافٹ صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم اٹس مین ہی شاور ہز مرسی اپان ہم وین یو سے دا ملائکہ دا اینجل they are reciting durood on the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam is mean they are doing duae rahmat mean the supplication of the mercy for the rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam and when the believers they do uh, durood sharif send durood upon the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam it mean they are doing dua of salamati subhanallah duae salamati ke liye wo dua kar rahe hote hain to inshallah we will learn Uh, furthermore about the Durood and the Salaam upon the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam time Mashallah. by time Mashallah, Mashallah. one uh, a beautiful introduction regarding uh, Durood Shifu Mustasab regarding at least once in your life you have to read it but another point that I will just mention before we come on to our Abdul Hanan by inshallah um, is regarding the angels you know Allah Azawajal says that Allah and his angels send peace and blessings etc uh, is mentioned in the Quran but how many angels of Allah Azawajal are there It's mentioned in one narration that there are angels of Allah Azawajal who visit the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Now these angels, you know, Alhamdulillah, we get the honor of time and time again visiting the beautiful city of Madinah to Munawra. Many Ashikani Rasul do, Alhamdulillah Azawajal. But because there are so many angels of Allah Azawajal, the angels, they only get the opportunity once to go and visit the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in Madinah to Munawra. And it's mentioned that in the morning there are 70,000 and in the evening there are 70,000. And these 70,000, once they get the opportunity, they will never get the opportunity again. Now if we just try, if we can't do this, our calculations will give up. But if we just try to attempt to just try to find out how much angels of Allah there are. 70,000 in the morning, 70,000 in the evening. That's a 140,000 in a day in the weds. Then if you look in a week, that's approximately 980,000 per week. Then if you look at a month, four and a half million angels, they visit a month. And then after that, our calculators will give up. So this is how much angels of Allah Azawajal they are. And all the angels of Allah, like our Mawlana Halim Madhanisa mentioned, they are all sending peace and blessings upon the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So this shows you the shan. This shows you the rank of our Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. The Allah Himself, then all the angels, they are also reciting the Rushif upon the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And then the humans, mashallah, across the world. Alhamdulillah, whenever a program starts on Madhani channel, we say, Sallu al Habib. Whenever a segment ends on Madhani Chara, we say, Sallu ala Bibi. Who knows how many thousands and millions of people are reciting the Rushif upon the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam at one particular time. So this is the shan, this is the rank of our Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Ji Abdul Hanan Bhai, regarding today's topic, blessings of reciting the Rushif, inshallah. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Nasim Bhai, alhamdulillah, it's a very important topic. And uh, some people take some actions very lightly. And some people don't understand the value of one action sometimes. Okay. And if you look at Salatul Nabi reciting peace and blessings upon the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi what you are mentioning, the uh, Rood. Maybe not everyone, the viewers of Mandi channel not understanding the Rood. Basically it means sending peace and blessings. It's the same as saying the, the Rood upon the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi So Salatul Nabi uh, upon the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wa Alaihi Wasallam. And if you look at Wasim Bai, you know, I was, I was just looking into the, the list of reciting the Rood upon the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. There's, you know, there's fazila, there's benefit of reciting the Rood upon the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam on different uh, figures. 
for example, one who recites once, mm. 10 mercies of one, right? Sure. The one who recites uh, like this three times in the morning, three times in the evening, it is upon the mercy of Allah to forgive his sins in, uh, of that day and that night. Yes, right. and then if you look at uh, 10 times, there's another fazilat. Then if you look at uh, 50 times, you, <laughs> there's another fazilat. Then you look at 100 times, there's another fazilat. Yeah. And you know that the list just goes on. So there is fazilat, there is blessings, benefit, upon every, every sort of figure you can say, upon reciting the rood upon the Prophet so, But same time there's one uniqueness. It's not necessarily that you have to recite the rood a thousand times to gain a big fazila. Mm. One can gain that by reciting minimum time is what. Well. This is the uniqueness of Islam. So, you know if you look at the worldly matter was seen by someone puts in a lot hours, he'll get more money, right? He'll get more benefit. And if the one who puts only one hour a day, he'll only get paid for an hour, That's it. right? He won't get as much benefit. But through the park, it doesn't matter you read little or you read more. You are benefited all in every way. And some of the benefits, even the smaller figures were seen by, if you look at them, you're reading once, you know, the mercy of Allah, 10 times Allah's mercy descending upon You know, isn't this a big enough fazila itself? Just once, right? And then, you know, you, you look at just a, another uh, figure like 100 times. Uh, although if, if sometimes the views of Madani channel might be thinking that, you know, 100 times is a big figure. Alhamdulillah, Durude Park once who gets into the habit of reciting Salatul Nabi, uh, 100 times is nothing. Alhamdulillah, you get people, the pious people of Allah that they would recite Salatul Nabi a thousand times or, you know, 10,000 times. <laughs> like they, their figures were, you, you, know, you know, big figures. Their you know, time was spent upon, uh, reciting the Rushif, meaning uh, apart from, you know, doing the daily activities like eating or reading Salah, etc. The rest of their time was reciting the Rushif on the Prophet. So, so no doubt, was seen by, so they, their figures were huge. So 100 times figure is not big. But if you look at the fazilat of reciting Salatul Nabi just a hundred times. One fuzzy, you know, it, it, it has a number of benefits within that, right? That person is free from uh, nifaq, is free from hypocrisy. And, you know, uh, also is mentioned that on the day of judgment, you know, he will rise amongst the martyrs, right? And, you know, there's a combination of um, fazilat of benefit of reciting uh, Drude Park a hundred times. So every time, like 50 times, you, you, the person will shake the hands of the Prophet no, 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 no. All these are unique. You know, the fazil, the benefit you'll get out of it, whether you do little, whether you do more, there's still a, f a fazil. No, 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 no. So one should, um, especially for the views of Bandi Channel, one should make it a habit of reciting Salatul Nabi upon the Prophet And don't look whether you're reciting little, whether you're reciting more. But make this a regular habit of reciting Salatul Nabi. And inshallah, you'll find by reciting peace and blessings on a regular basis, inshallah, this will bring, like Wasim Bai said at the start, that it will bring blessings in your life and it will bring blessings in the grave, it will bring blessings in the akhirah, it will bring blessings in your sustenance, it will bring blessings in your children. It, you know, it, it is full of blessings. Yes. And that's the power of Rushif. And seriously, like Abdul Hanan Bai mentioned, and we mentioned at the start, that whatever your desire is, whatever you want, in other words, the, the um, coming of inshallah lies in reciting the Rushif upon the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. You know, inshallah, your One uh, question that I would like to ask you is, Mashallah Abdul Hanan Bhai spoke uh, just briefly about that some Drude Park, they are very long. They mm. go on for pages and pages and pages yeah. uh, and even books as well. Yeah. And some Drude Park are very short as well. But some Drushif, if you read once, mm. you get like 70,000 times yeah. reward. So if you just want to give a brief introduction regarding this, which Drushif should we read as Ashikan and Rasul? Uh, if you can put some light on this, inshallah. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Ji, Wasim Bhai, Arbida ek makula ke man ahabba shayyan aksar azikra ho. कि जड़ा बंदा किसे चीज देनाल महबबत करदा ना प्यार करदा ओ अक्सर ओदा जिक्र भी करदा कसरत देनाल माशाल्लाह द वन हु लव समथिंग ही मेंशंस दैट थिंग अगेन एंड अगेन बार-बार उस चीज दा जिक्र करदा तजकिरा करदा ते अल्हम्दुलिल्लाह ये जवजले एक मुसलमान दी पहचान ओदी आदत यही हुंदी है कि ओ अपने महबूब नु याद करदा ओदे उते दुरूद पाक पढ़दा इस दे बावजूद एक मुसलमान ओदी चाहत ਉਹਦਾ ਕੀਦਾ ਉਹਦਾ ਬਲੀਵ ਇਹੀ ਹੁੰਦਾ ਵਾ ਕਿ ਜਿਸ ਚੀਜ਼ ਤੇ ਨਾਲ ਉਹ ਮੁਹੱਬਤ ਕਰਦਾ ਨਾ ਉਹਨੂੰ ਮੈਂਸ਼ਨ ਕਰਦਾ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਕਿਸੇ ਦਾ ਆਸ਼ਿਕ ਹੁੰਦਾ ਜ਼ਿਕਰ ਉਹਦਾ ਹੀ ਕਰਦਾ ਆ ਜਾ ਕੇ ਉਹ ਕਿਸੇ ਨਾ ਕਿਸੇ ਤਰੀਕੇ ਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਨਾ ਆਪਣੇ ਮਹਿਬੂਬ ਨੂੰ ਵਿੱਚ ਲੈ ਹੀ ਹੁੰਦਾ ਸੁਭਾਨ ਬਸ ਉਹਦਾ ਇਹੀ ਹੁੰਦਾ ਕਿ ਯਾਰ ਮੈਂ ਆਪਣੇ ਯਾਰ ਦੀਆਂ ਗੱਲਾਂ ਕਰਾਂ ਹੈ 
ਉਹਨੂੰ ਮਜ਼ਾ ਇੰਨਾ ਲੱਜ਼ਤ ਉਸ ਬੰਦੇ ਨੂੰ ਆਉਂਦੀ ਆਪਣੇ ਮਹਿਬੂਬ ਦੇ ਜ਼ਿਕਰ ਕਰਨ ਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਕਿ ਕਿਸੇ ਹੋਰ ਦੀ ਚੀਜ਼ ਉਹਨੂੰ ਮਜ਼ਾ ਨਹੀਂ ਆਉਂਦਾ ਅਰਬੀ ਦਾ ਇੱਕ ਸ਼ੇਰ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਵਜ਼ਿਕਰੂ ਕਾ ਲਿਲ ਮੁਸ਼ਤਾਕੀ ਖੈਰੁ ਸ਼ਰਾਬਿਨ ਵ ਕੁਲ ਸ਼ਰਾਬਿਨ ਦੂਨਾਹੂ ਕਾ ਸਰਾਬਿਨ ਕਿ ਤੇਰਾ ਜ਼ਿਕਰ ਕਰਨਾ ਯਾਨੀ ਇੱਕ ਆਸ਼ਿਕ ਲਈ ਇੱਕ ਮੁਹਿਬ ਲਈ ਆਪਣੇ ਮਹਿਬੂਬ ਦਾ ਜ਼ਿਕਰ ਕਰਨੇ ਸਭ ਤੋਂ ਵੱਡੀ ਚੀਜ਼ ਹੈ ਸ਼ਰਾਬ ਦੀ ਤਰ੍ਹਾਂ ਜਿਸ ਦਾ ਸ਼ਰਾਬ ਨਸ਼ਾ ਦਿੰਦੀ ਹੈ ਨਾ ਕਿ ਇੱਕ ਬੰਦਾ ਆਪਣੇ ਜਦੋਂ ਮਹਿਬੂਬ ਦਾ ਜ਼ਿਕਰ ਕਰਦਾ ਉਹਨੂੰ ਇਸ ਕਦਰ ਚਾਹਤ ਹੁੰਦੀ ਉਹਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਇਸ ਕਦਰ ਪਿਆਰ ਹੁੰਦਾ ਇਸ ਕਦਰ ਉਹਨੂੰ ਮਜ਼ਾ ਆਉਂਦਾ ਕਿ ਬਸ ਉਹ ਕਹਿੰਦਾ ਮੈਂ ਆਪਣੇ ਮਹਿਬੂਬ ਦਾ ਜ਼ਿਕਰ ਕਰਦਾ ਰਹਾਂ ਇਸ ਤੋਂ ਇਲਾਵਾ ਬਾਕੀ ਚੀਜ਼ਾਂ ਮੈਂ ਭੁੱਲ ਜਾਵਾਂ ਐਂਡ ਯੂ نو ਆਈ ਟਾਕਸ ਪੀਪਲ ਆਸਕ ਦਿਸ ਕੁਐਸਚਨ ਦੈਟ ਯੂ نو 올 ਦਾ ਟਾਈਮ ਯੂ ਆਰ ਰੀਡਿੰਗ ਨਾਟਸ ਯੂ ਆਰ ਲਿਸਟਿੰਗ ਟੂ ਦਾਸ ਵੈਨ ਦਾ ਨਾਟਸ ਸਟਾਰਟਸ ਯੂ ਕੈਨ ਸਟਾਰਟ ਕ੍ਰਾਈਂਗ ਬਟ ਓਨਲੀ ਦਾ ਪਰਸਨ ਹੂ ਗੋਸ ਥਰੂ ਦਿਸ ਫੀਲਿੰਗ ਓਨਲੀ ਯੂ ਨੋ ਅੰਡਰਸਟੈਂਡ ਇਟਸ ਸਿੰਪਲ ਐਜ਼ ਦੈਟ ਬਾਅਦ ਕਾਦ ਉਸੀਂ ਵੀ ਐਸੀ ਚੀਜ਼ ਹੁੰਦੀ ਕਿ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਸਮਝ ਵੀ ਨਹੀਂ ਆ ਰਹੀ ਹੁੰਦੀ ਐਸਾ ਕਲਾਮ ਚੱਲ ਰਿਹਾ ਹੁੰਦਾ ਕਾ ਕਰੀਮ ਸੱਲਲਾਹੁ ਤਾਲਾ ਅਲੈਹਿ ਵਸੱਲਮ ਦੀ ਪ੍ਰੇਜ਼ ਕੀਤੀ ਜਾ ਰਹੀ ਹੁੰਦੀ ਹੈ ਨਾਤ ਪੜੀ ਜਾ ਰਹੀ ਹੁੰਦੀ ਹੈ ਲੇਕਿਨ ਬਾਅਦ ਕਾ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਉਹਦੇ ਮੀਨਿੰਗ ਸਮਝ ਨਹੀਂ ਆ ਰਹੇ ਹੁੰਦੇ ਲੇਕਿਨ ਫੇਰ ਵੀ ਅਸੀਂ ਝੂਮ ਰਹੇ ਹੁੰਨੇ ਫੇਰ ਵੀ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਲੱਜ਼ਤ ਆ ਰਹੀ ਹੁੰਦੀ ਹੈ ਕਿਉਂ ਕਿਉਂਕਿ ਮਹਿਬੂਬ ਦਾ ਜ਼ਿਕਰ ਕਰਨਾ ਇਹ ਕਾਸ਼ਿਕਲੀ ਇੱਕ ਮੁਹਬਲੀ ਸਭ ਤੋਂ ਵੱਡੀ ਸ਼ੈ ਹੁੰਦੀ ਉਹਨੂੰ ਇੰਨਾ ਪਿਆਰ ਹੁੰਦਾ ਵਿੱਚ ਮਜ਼ਾ ਸਕੂਨ ਤੇ ਰਾਹਤ ਹੁੰਦਾ ਉਹ ਕਹਿੰਦਾ ਬਸ ਮੈਂ ਆ ਤੇ ਮੇਰਾ ਮਹਿਬੂਬ ਆ ਮੈਂ ਕਿਸੇ ਤਰੀਕੇ ਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਵੀ ਆਪਣੇ ਮਹਿਬੂਬ ਦਾ ਜ਼ਿਕਰ ਕਰਨਾ ਜਿੱਦਾਂ ਵੀ ਕਰਨਾ ਤੇ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਮਾਸ਼ਾਅੱਲਾ ਮੈਂਸ਼ਨ ਕੀਤਾ ਸੀ ਕਿ ਦਰੂਦ ਏ ਪਾਕ ਕਈ ਫਜ਼ੀਲਤਾਂ ਵਾ ਜੈਸੇ ਇੱਕ ਵਾਰ ਪੜੀਏ 70000 ਦਰੂਦ ਏ ਪਾਕ ਪੜਨ ਦਾ ਸਵਾਬ ਜਜ਼ਲਾਹੁ ਅਨਾ ਮੁਹੰਮਦ ਮਾਹ ਵਾਹਲੂ ਬਹੁਤ ਸਾਰੇ ਦਰੂਦ ਏ ਪਾਕ ਇੱਕ ਬੰਦੇ ਤੇ ਡਿਪੈਂਡ ਕਰਦਾ ਦਰੂਦ ਏ ਇਬਰਾਹੀਮੀ ਦੇ ਆਪਣੇ ਫਜ਼ਾਇਲ ਦਰੂਦ ਏ ਗੌਸੀਆ ਦੇ ਆਪਣੇ ਫਜ਼ਾਇਲ ਹਰ ਹਰ ਦਰੂਦ ਏ ਪਾਕ ਹਰ ਪੁੱਲ ਦੀ ਇਲਾਦਾ ਖੁਸ਼ਬੂ ਹੈ ਜਿਸ ਪੁੱਲ ਨੂੰ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਲਾਉਂਗੇ ਉਹਦੀ ਇਲਾਦਾ ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਖੁਸ਼ਬੂ ਆਏਗੀ ਤੋ ਛੋਟਾ ਦਰੂਦ ਏ ਪਾਕ ਪੜੋ ਵੱਡਾ ਦਰੂਦ ਏ ਪਾਕ ਪੜੋ ਇਨਸ਼ਾਅੱਲਾ ਬਲੈਸਿੰਗ ਤੇ ਫਜ਼ੀਲਤਾ ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਹਾਸਲ ਹੁੰਦੀ ਹੈ ਰਵੇਂਗਾ ਇਹ ਇਹ ਜ਼ਰੂਰੀ ਨਹੀਂ ਕਿ ਮੈਂ ਦਰੂਦ ਏ ਇਬਰਾਹੀਮ ਵੀ ਪੜਨਾ ਵਾ ਜਾਂ ਛੋਟਾ ਦਰੂਦ ਏ ਪਾਕ ਪੜਨਾ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਜ਼ਿਆਦਾ ਦਰੂਦ ਏ ਪਾਕ ਪੜਨਾ ਵਾ ਛੋਟਾ ਦਰੂਦ ਏ ਪਾਕ ਪੜੋ ਸੱਲਲਾਹੁ ਅਲੈਹਿ ਮੁਹੰਮਦ ਸੱਲਲਾਹੁ ਅਲੈਹਿ ਵਸੱਲਮ ਤੇ ਦਰੂਦ ਏ ਇਬਰਾਹੀਮ ਦੀ ਆਪਣੀਆਂ ਫਜ਼ਾਇਲਾ ਫਜ਼ਾਇਲਾ ਤੇ ਬਲੈਸਿੰਗ ਜਾਂ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਦਿਲ ਕਰਦਾ ਪੜੋ ਅਕਾ ਦਾ ਜ਼ਿਕਰ ਕਰਨਾ ਕਿਸੇ ਤਰੀਕੇ ਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਵੀ ਕੀਤਾ ਜਾਵੇ ਕਿਸੇ ਵੀ ਜ਼ੁਬਾਨ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਕੀਤਾ ਜਾਵੇ ਸੁਭਾਨ ਅੱਲਾਹ ਮਾਸ਼ਾ ਅੱਲਾਹ ਸਮ ਅਮੇਜ਼ਿੰਗ ਮਦਨੀ ਪਰਸਨ ਫਰਮ ਦ ਪੈਨਲ ਅਲਹਮਦੁਲਿਲਾ ਆਈ ਜਸਟ ਵਾਂਟ ਟੂ ਟੱਚ ਅਪਨ ਸਮ ਮੋਰ ਬਲੈਸਿੰਗਸ ਆਫ ਰੀਸਾਈਟਿੰਗ ਦਰੂਦ ਏ ਪਾਕ ਤੇ ਐਟ ਟਾਈਮਸ ਯੂ نو ਇਫ ਵੀ ਰੀਸਾਈਟ ਦਰੂਦ ਏ ਪਾਕ ਇਟ ਵਿਲ ਨਾਟ ਓਨਲੀ ਬੈਨੀਫਿਟ ਅਸ ਬਟ ਇਟ ਵਿਲ ਬੈਨੀਫਿਟ ਅਦਰ ਪੀਪਲ ਐਜ਼ ਵੈਲ ਐਂਡ ਇਸ ਵਨ ਅਮੇਜ਼ਿੰਗ ਐਗਜ਼ਾਮਪਲ ਦੈਟ ਇਜ਼ ਗਿਵਨ ਇਨ ਦ ਬੁੱਕਸ ਦ ਹਜ਼ਰਤ ਹਸਨ ਬਸਰੀ ਰਹਿਮਤੁਲਾਹ ਅਲੈ ਇਸ ਮੈਂਸ਼ਨ ਦ ਓਲਡ ਵੂਮਨ ਕੇਮ ਟੂ ਹਿਮ ਐਂਡ ਸ਼ੀ ਸੈਡ ਟੂ ਹਿਮ ਦੈਟ ਲੁਕ ਮਾਈ ਡੌਟਰਸ ਪਾਸਡ ਅਵੇ ਆਈ ਵਾਂਟ ਟੂ ਸੀ ਹਰ ਇਨ ਮਾਈ ਡ੍ਰੀਮ so hazrat hasan basri rahmatullah alayhi he told the whole uh, procedure of how to uh, get, uh, sort this out so she did uh, she acted upon that and it's mentioned that after a couple of days she saw her daughter in a dream but the way her daughter was in other words she was in a good state she was being punished in a grave she came back to hasan basri rahmatullah alayhi and she said to him that look i know that i have seen
the Prophet Sallallahu uh, said to me that you will intercede for 100,000 people on the Day of Allah, Judgment. Allah. You will intercede for 100,000 people on the Day of Judgment. And he says that I asked Ya Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, mm. how did I gain such a status? Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, because you recite Salat and send its reward to me. Allah, Allah. Uh, Jeeva Sallallahu there is a very beautiful hadith part. And this hadith is narrated by Hadrat Abdurrahman bin Aus radiallahu ta'ala anhu. You know who is Abdurrahman bin Auf? He is amongst the Ashram of Bashra. Those 10 Sahaba Ikram, those who received the glad tidings by Rasulullah so, in this dunya, not only once, couple of times. So, Hazrat Abdurrahman bin Auf radiallahu ta'ala anhu, he narrated, one day Rasulullah so, so, went out and he went towards the place of drinking water and he entered into that place and then he faced towards the Qibla. And he went into the prostration in the state of sajda. Hadrat Abdurrahman bin Auf radiallahu ta'ala anhu, he said that Rasulullah sallallahu did quite long sajda. It's not the normal sajda like we usually recite Subhana Rabbi al-A'la three times. Yes. But this was quite long sajda. Such a long, hatta dhanantu anna Allah qad qabida nafsahu fiha. I was thinking that might be the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa apparently has been demised. Hmm. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given his word. مجھے یہ ایسا لگا so I become more closer to the Rasulullah صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم and the Rasulullah صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم raised his hand from the sajda and the Rasulullah صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم he asked me who is this I replied Ya Rasulullah I am Abdurrahman Rasulullah صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم said what are your matter what the issue what happened Ya Rasulullah you perform such a long sajda that I was thinking that might be Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala covers your ruh mubarak Allah Allah and then the Rasulullah replied, it's a very beautiful reply. Oh, Abdurrahman, indeed, the angel Jibreel came to me, the leader of all the angels, he came to me and he gave me a very beautiful glad tidings. SubhanAllah. What is that glad tiding? The angel Jibreel told me, indeed, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, O oh, my Prophet, whoever side drood upon you, I will shower mercy upon him. وَمَنْ سَلَّمَ عَلَيْكَ Sallamtu alayhi. Mm. Whoever sends salutation upon you, I will protect him. I will save him. I will send salamti upon him. Fasajatu mm. lillahi shukra. Mm. Oh Abdurrahman, that's why I went into the sajda to be thankful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Mashallah, mashallah. So Vaseem Bhai and my dear viewers of Madani channel, there's a very beautiful mm. hadith. Number one, we can learn the drood and the salam. I mean, sending the rood upon the Prophet and salutation upon the Prophet has a lot of bounties, a lot of blessings. Mm. Number two, when the Prophet yes. was in the prostration and Hazrat Abdurrahman came next to the Rasul, he raised his head, but he didn't look at him. Mm. And then Rasulullah realized that who is somebody mm. is behind me. Yeah? Mm -hmm. So he mean he can see even he was in the Secondly, Whenever you receive any glad tiding, any khushabri, we should do thank word to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. May Allah ka shukriya da karna chief, because in the other hadith, the Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam has said, man lam yashkurin nasa, lam yashkurin nasa. Jho logon ka shukriya da ni karta, wo Allah ka bhi shukriya da ni karta. So whenever you receive any good news, any glad tiding, be thankful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Sassab, you mentioned some absolutely phenomenal points, mashallah, and a huge message to all of us, a reminder as well, regarding to the shukr of Allah At times this question arises that how do we do this sajda shukr? If you can just mention the method inshallah, um, sometimes people think that we have to be like the way we read our namaz or... Okay, the sajda of shukr uh, is best way to do the same in the way of like sajda to tilawat. So sajda to tilawat we need to do, just stand up in the state of wudu, not without wudu, mm. in the state of wudu, and then just say Allahu Akbar, go straight into the sajda. Go straight into the sajda, no ruku, no raising hand. Mm. Then say Subhana Rabbi Al-A'la three times. And then say Allahu Akbar mm. and stand up straight into the Qiyam position. Mm. So no salam, no nothing. Mm. This is the one way of doing sajda. However, ulama has recommended is better yeah, kaap dorakat bakayda puri ada kar le. Lekin agar kisi ne sirf is tarah sajda, shukar sirf ek bhi ada kar diya, then inshallah ye bhi us kiya. Some amazing madni prayers from our Maulana Khalid Madni Sahib regarding how um, th this khushabri that was given to the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Sayyidina Jibreel alayhi salam, and how the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam then sajda shukar. This is something that we should be doing. At times, unfortunately, we have forgotten. If you just look at our body at this moment in time, 
everything is working. The heart's working, the lungs are working, the liver's working, the kidney's working, the brain's working, everything is working, Alhamdulillah. But when's the last time that we do the shukr of Allah? Meaning that, you know, someone mentioned the other day something absolutely amazing. He goes, look, we go to sleep at night. Still this heart is working, still we're breathing, still the kidneys are working, still the liver's working, everything is working. So this is something that we should do. I know one brother, uh, he's from Birmingham. One thing amazing I've seen of him, that after the five daily salah, every single namaz, he will do sajda shukar. Meaning at five I'm thinking to myself, he's finished namaz, I thought he's starting reading the namaz, but no, he's doing sajda shukar. So this is something that we should be doing because Allah himself mentions in the Quran, if you count the blessings mm. of Allah, you will never be able to count them. So we've got our uh, first package of today ready inshallah. Uh, we'll now go towards the package of today inshallah. Imam Zainul Abideen radiallahu ta'ala anhu has declared, Alamatu ahl sunnati kasratu salati ala rasulillah sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alihi wa sallam. That is, the hallmark of ahl sunnah is the abundant recital of salat upon the messenger of Allah sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alihi wa sallam. Subhanallah azza wa jal. Dear viewers, there are numerous blessings of reciting salat upon the Holy Prophet sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alihi wa sallam. Let's listen to a beautiful narration about how salat removes pain and difficulty. Sheikh Abdul Rahman Rahmatullahi Ta'ala has stated, I went to a public bath and fell, causing my hand to swell and feel pain. I fell asleep later that night whilst reciting Salat upon the Prophet of Allah Sallallahu Ta'ala Alaihi Wa Alaihi Wasallam and in my dream, I was honored to see the Prophet Sallallahu Ta'ala Alaihi Wa Alaihi Wasallam. Dear viewers of Madani Channel, he further states that I called out O oh, Messenger of Allah Azza wa Jalla wa Sallallahu Ta'ala Alihi wa Alihi wa Sallam and he replied, Your recital of Salat whilst in pain has rendered me emotional. When I woke up in the morning, I found that by virtue of his beneficence, no sign of pain and swelling remained. Subhanallah Azza wa Jalla. Subhanallah, sallu ala al-habib sallallahu ta'ala ala muhammad sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alihi wa sallam. Gee, that was the package of today inshallah. Uh, now is our next segment which is guess the word inshallah. The path of knowledge is the way to jannah. Gee. E. No E. You have that on me. S. No S. Asi boy. B. Hmm. L. L. I thought you got it there. Oh. You have it. Closed. Oh. R. Oh, it looks like it's a in there. W? No, W. You have done it, but you were smiling for a while. Were you just smiling? Um. Is there another A? Yes. J. Mashallah. Rajab. Uh, got a message telling you the right answer. Hmm. Yes. Mashallah. <laughs> A. A. No A. C. No C. So Urdu word, not English word. F. S. S. A. No A. N. No N. E. No. T. No T. M. No M. 
جی خالد بھائی مشہور صاحب صاحب یو کے ا اڈٹ شکر الحمدللہ دس ڈسکسڈ بین شکر اف اللہ عز وجل کتنا آسانی I you got me confused and I think you're going to go in order and <laughs> yeah a i and then so that was the segment uh, guess the word the path of knowledge is the way to jannah jannah sasab so, some kalams inshallah chhod fikr duniya ki چل مدینے چلتے ہیں چھوڑ فکر دنیا کی چل مدینے چلتے ہیں مصطفیٰ غلاموں کی قسمت بدلتے ہیں مصطفیٰ قسمتیں بدلتے ہیں چھوڑ فکر دنیا کی نقش کر لے سینے پر نام سرور سب عذاب ٹلتے ہیں یہ وہ نام ہے جس سے سب عذاب ٹلتے ہیں مصطفیٰ غلاموں کی قسمتیں بدلتے ہیں مصطفیٰ صرف ساری دنیا میں تبا کی وہ گلیاں ہیں جس جگہ پہ ہم جیسے کھوٹے سے کے چلتے سکے چلتے ہیں چھوڑ فکر دنیا کی چل مدینے چلتے ہیں مصطفیٰ غلاموں کی قسمتیں بدلتے ہیں چھوڑ فکر
Mashallah, mashallah. I remember a saying of one Rukmishura. He was asked this question on Madini channel. That how do we go and visit the Madi uh, Madina to Madinawa time and time again? What's the way? How can this be made possible? And I remember the Rukmishura replied that keep reciting the Rushif upon the Prophet wasallam in abundance. Inshallah, you will be called to the city of Madina to Madinawa. And this is no doubt the reality because there is one amazing narration that I'm about to mention in front of you. That how we can mention our name in the court of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam is mentioned. There is an angel who is at the blessed grave of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. What's the role? What's the purpose of this angel? It's mentioned that this angel, wherever you are in the world, whether we're here in the UK, in South Africa, in Australia, in Pakistan, in India, wherever a person is in the world, if they recite Rushif upon the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam, this angel he will mention that person's name and his father's name in the court of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. The scholars of Deen, they, they mention one amazing thing here. They say it's entirely up to us. If you want your name to be mentioned 10 times in the court of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam, simple, recite Rushif 10 times. If you want your name to be mentioned 100 times in the court of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam, simple, recite Rushif 100 times. And you know the second part of this 
is that person and his father's name is mentioned in the court of the Prophet ﷺ. My request to all those parents that are watching, make your children, get them in the habit of now reciting the Rushif in abundance. Because for example, we go from this world, we pass away. Inshallah, if our children are in the habit of reciting the Rushif, their name will be mentioned. But Inshallah, our name will be mentioned in the court of the Prophet ﷺ after we leave this world. So may Allah give us the ability to recite the Rushif in abundance. You know the hadith you mentioned earlier, that there is an angel is appointed on the grave of Rasulullah And whenever a person recites Drood upon the Prophet, he mentioned the name of that person and his father's name. The hadith actually is narrated by Hazrat Ammar bin Yasir. And this hadith, Imam Bukhari, rahimahullah, he mentioned in uh, at tariq al-Kabir. Mm. Uh, the word of hadith is, Inna Allah wakkala bi qabari malakan. That Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala appointed one angel on my grave. And uh, what he has been given and what is his power, the Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa has said, أَعْتَاهُ أَسْمَاءُ الْخَلَائِقِ That Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bestow him with the power of listening all entire word. Mm. And then, فَلَا يُسَلِّي عَلَيَّ أَحَدٌ إِلَى يَوْمِ الْقِيَامَةِ إِلَّا أَبْلَغَنِي بِإِسْمِهِ وَإِسْمِ أَبِي هَذَا فُلَانُ بْنُ فُلَانٍ قَدْ سَلَّى عَلَيْكِ When, wherever in the world, east, west, south, north, whoever recites through upon me, the angel will mention his name and his father name, that Ya Rasulullah, this person, son of such, so, so person, he recited through the pun. So, you mentioned the hadith already. No, the thing is, the thing is, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam's blessed grave, on the blessed grave, there's one angel who has been appointed, Allah and he has such a power, Allah that he can hear from near and far, Allah from Allah east Allah. to west, Allah from Africa to America, Allah. from all the subcontinent, yeah? And the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, upon his grave, he this angel is uh, appointed, and he is appointed as a khadim, as a servant. So imagine when the khadim of that grave has such a knowledge, uh, what is the knowledge of the master of the angel who is alive in the grave? So mean the Prophet mashallah, he can hear our Drushrif directly and especially on the day of Friday. So the one that you just mentioned, beautiful mashallah, that you know the Prophet is listening to when we are reciting Drushrif on Friday. Yeah. Whenever Juma comes, and this is a message for all of us as well, that throughout the whole week, but especially when it comes to Juma. And remember, Juma is not only the day of Friday. It starts from Thursday Maghrib all the way till Friday Maghrib, inshallah. Whatever Durushif you recite, it comes in narrations that the Prophet actually listens to this Durud Park. So throughout the week, try to increase your recitation, but especially on Juma, try to recite more, inshallah. There is another beautiful hadith, Hazrat Sayyiduna Umar Ansari, radiallahu ta'ala. This is the one companion who participated in the uh, Badr, Ghazwa Badr. He said the person who recite Durood once, he will get four uh, rewards from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. What are these four rewards? According to the hadith, he said, Man salla alayya min ummati salatan mukhlisan min qalbi sallallahu alayhi bi ashra salawat. The Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, whoever recite Durood upon me amongst my ummah, amongst my nation, for wholeheartedly, from pure heart, with the sincerity, he recited Drood once, Sallallahu Alaihi bi Ashra Salawat. Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala will shower mercy upon him ten times. This is the one inam, one reward. Second, wa rafa'a bihi Ashra Darajatin. By blessing of one Drood, Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala will elevate his rank in the Jannah ten times. Ten more rank will be elevated in the Jannah for him due to the for that Drood. The third inam for him will be wa kataba lahu bihi Ashra Hasanatin. The ten good deeds will be written in the book of his deed. And the fourth reward he will receive, he will attain, ten sins will be forgiven from the book of his deed. So he recited only one sadrood with the pure heart, with sincerity and khulus. So ten different ina'am he will receive. Ten nekhiyah. Das uske jo nekhiyah mili hai, das darajat buland huye hai, das guna maaf huye hai, aur das Allah tabarak wa ta'ala ki rahmatou ki barasat huye hai. Yani, you just recited once. Kehta na four in one. You are investing one penny and returning it four different way. Alhamdulillah. Or phir jo return ho raha hai, wo bhi sirf yeh nahi hai ke sirf ten martabah. According to another hadith, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam has said, the one who recite durood upon me only once, uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will appoint the angel 
ہو ول رسائٹ درود اپان ہم سلام اپان ہم سب عین مرا سیونٹی ٹائم اللہ یعنی اللہ اس کے لیے ایسا فرشتہ مقرر کر دیتا ہے جو ستر مرتبہ اس کے لیے دعائی استغفار کرتا ہے اب جو لوگ بزنس مین ہوتے ہیں ان کا ذہن کیا ہوتا ہے کہ ہم کسی ایسی جگہ انویسٹ کریں کہ جہاں ہمارا پروفٹ کنفرم ہو اور ایٹ لیسٹ ٹوینٹی پرسینٹ ہونا چاہیے جس ون ایگزامپل وداؤٹ اینی سملیرٹی نو ریزمبلنگ نو کمپیریزن ہم اللہ تبارک و تعالیٰ کے محبوب علیہ السلاۃ والسلام پر ایک مرتبہ درود پڑے تو دس مرتبہ اس کا ثواب ملتا ہے دس نیکیاں ملتی ہیں دس گناہ معاف ہوتے ہیں دس درجات بلند ہوتے ہیں اور اس نریشن کے مطابق تو ستر مرتبہ فرشت اس بندے کے لیے دعا کرتے ہیں سو so, آپ ایک انویسٹ کر رہے ہو اور آپ کو ریوارڈ کتنا مل رہا ہے اور جو مسلمان ہوتا ہے بلیور ہی از گریڈی فار دا ڈیڈس گڈ ڈیڈس وہ نیکیوں کا حریص ہوتا ہے کہ مجھے تو کوئی ایسا موقع ملے ٹائم ملے کہ میں جتنی سے زیادہ نیکیاں کماؤں اور ویسے بھی زندگی ہماری شارٹ ہے لہٰذا کم وقت میں زیادہ نیکیاں کمانے کا ایک بہترین نسخہ نبی کریم علیہ السلاۃ والسلام پر درود السلام There's one very beautiful narration, you know. It's mentioned that whoever writes Salat upon me in a book, angels will continue making istighfar for him, seeking forgiveness for him, as long as my name remain in it. So, so you write uh, Salat al-Nabi upon the Prophet ﷺ, you write peace and blessings upon the Prophet ﷺ no. in a book, no. and as long as that will remain there, the angel will do istighfar for you, mm. until that remain. And this brother, You know, it's, you, everyone has their own way of thinking. And this brother said, he goes, I wish that, you know, my diary, which I've got, I'm written, res- oh, no. reciting, I've uh, written many beyonds in this many speeches. And every time I've written the drood in the, on the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in full. Now what I want to do is, I want to put this in a metal safe. I want to bury it somewhere in the ground. <laughs> right? So that will remain till the end of time. Oh, no. <laughs> right? <laughs> so oh, till then, the angels will continue doing his take for me. Yes. <laughs> right? look, at, look at the thinking behind this, you know. Mm. And it's, it's like this, you know, subhanAllah, you know when you write something, and normally a book is kept safe and it's, it's passed on and alhamdulillah it's, it's safe. One more thing I want to add here is, yes. well, we get many people writing uh, the name of the Prophet so Oh, they write big uh, sentences and all, they write so many things. But when he comes and recite, writing peace and blessings upon the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, saying, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Muhammad, writing Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, or writing peace and blessings, what do they do? They shorten it. Hmm. P-B-U-H, uh, etc. Or oh, they, they put a swad there. Right? This is strictly forbidden. Right? We should not uh, uh, shorten this. Instead, we should be writing this in full. So whenever, especially for the viewers of Madhuri Channel who are listening, whenever you write, even if you're writing a text message, think about it. You write a huge text message, and when you've written the name of the Prophet Sallallahu and all you have to do is write, peace be upon him. How many, how many letters is that? It's nothing much, but what, normally what you, what you see is people show laziness in this. They just write P-B-U-H. And this should not be done when we, whenever you're reciting or writing the name of the Prophet Sallallahu make sure you write peace and blessings in full or write Sallallahu Ala Muhammad uh, in, in the Arabic way, inshaAllah. So this is very important, inshaAllah. MashaAllah, Abdul Hanan Bhai mentioned something very, very important that we do see this a lot today, P-B-U-H and S-A-W. And this is something that we should stay away from. Look, you're going to write a whole essay. You're going to write a whole page. All you have to do is just write the Rushif upon the Prophet And we've just heard the way. We've got a couple of minutes. Usas, so final words regarding today's topic, inshallah. Okay. You know, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam, reciting Durood upon him, a lot of blessings. In this dunya, at the moment, the people are uh, involved on the social media. And when any personality, worldly personality, who has a very high rank in this dunya, when he visits to them, they try to make some selfie with him. They're just me and him will be in the same frame. That's right. I just want to show that I am very close to him. That's right. Allah Masa will come, they will ask him, please make dua for me, peace sir, please make dua for me. <laughs> But no, it's selfie, as long as you do that, that's more yeah. than enough. So, if we want to become close to the Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, we don't need to take any selfie. Allah. If you want to come in the same frame, mean very close to him, 
the rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam told us to decide drood upon me abundantly the rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam has said aula nasi bi yawm al qiyamati akhtharuhum alayya salatan aw kama qala nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam so very close up, uh, with me on the day of judgment will be that person who recite drood upon me abundantly Mashallah. so if we want to be very close to the rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam on the day of judgment Mashallah. then the one way we should recite drood upon the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam uh, abdul nama just one point that i will uh, ask you inshallah that today we're spending a lot of time social media is there what's happening on facebook what's happening on twitter but and times we say ah oh, brother i don't have time to recite drood epak it's simple as this the the, the shortest form of drood epak that you can recite is sallallahu alaihi wasallam now one person i know of one brother he mentioned something amazing he goes that you know sometimes in a stop at the red lights what are you doing at the red lights it's going to take 2 minutes yeah. you're waiting for the car you're waiting for it to turn re- green and at that time especially you know even it's road works those mm-hmm. traffic lights you're there for 10 15 minutes he goes what do i do at that time he goes i get my tasbih out was from in that traffic jam or in that traffic way for the time uh, lights to turn green i'm reciting through the park one brother goes that uh, i ended up in any there was many people there five six hours is the way and that's normal at this moment in time he goes what did i do i took my tasbih i kept reciting through the park So it's about using your time wisely. You're an A&E. You won't be seen any quicker. Everyone's there going to see be seen at their time. But if we use our time wisely inshallah azza wa jal, who knows how many hundreds or even thousands of times we can recite the rushi. And like our Maulana Hazrat Madani sa mentioned earlier as well, once is 10 times reward you will get. Your rank will be elevated by 10 times and inshallah 10 of your sins will be forgiven. So it's all about time management. Ji mm-hmm. wasim no doubt. Uh, you know one is that you make time for something. and uh, to be honest with you these these opportunities are always there That's like right. you mentioned you know our, our our life is based upon traveling upon one place to another so even if a child is going to school and he's given a tasbih in his hand and is made to recite the rood upon the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam by him just going to school because he can't really do nothing else hmm. he's he's going to be walking and oh you catch in the bus or you're sitting in a car there's nothing else you're going to really involve yourself in So it's probably one of the easiest times even with the children and even with the adults when you when you see when you even just going walking to the masjid or going on a car to the masjid 5 10 minutes it, these these are normal part of our journey and as you're going reciting salat upon the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam same time and you coming back at the same time easily you will able to achieve 100 200 times a day if you make use of these 5 5 5 minutes Uh, but the reality is wasim bhai we should we should try to devote ourselves with the rudepa mashallah and mashallah. you know devotion it it has its own effect and you know that action which is done with devotion uh, it's 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 an accepted action and there's one narration i really enjoy uh, mentioning and i like this and uh, hadith of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam the holy mm-hmm. prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said that whoever recite salat upon me three times in the day and three times in the night showing devotion and affection towards me it is upon the mercy of allah azza wa jalla to forgive the sins he committed during that day and night <laughs> so you know it's it's not a big figure but what what's behind it is that devotion <laughs> you know i i understand this t- sometimes you know person he will still benefit if even if he gets a tasbih and he says sallallahu alaihi wasallam muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam but his mind's occupied somewhere else but to connect you if you really want that connection then you have to have that devotion Mashallah. then you even if that three times reciting salatul nabi but it's three times when you got the imagination of gumbad e hazra in front of you that you you're in the streets of madinatul munawwara mm. and then you're reciting salatul nabi then its effect will be totally different Mashallah. 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 and regarding the point that you mentioned about walking amir al sunnah says that so we should try to walk at least 45 minutes per day and this is an excellent opportunity for us that you're walking you're going for a walk 45 minutes inshallah azza wa jal keep a tasbih with you keep your tongue moist with reciting the rushi upon the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam inshallah not only will we get the health benefits but on the other hand we'll receive many good deeds inshallah juice as a final words inshallah nasib sim bhai ke jo na bula hum gareebon ko raza zikr unka apni aadat kijiye آقا کریم صلی اللہ تعالیٰ علیہ وسلم کی ذات پر دود و پاک پڑھنے کی کوشش کرنی چاہیے اتنے فضائل ہیں میرے خیال میں ایک اپیسوڈ میں تو یہ مکمل ہو بھی نہیں سکتے درود و پاک کے فضائل کے اوپر کتابیں لکھی گئی ہیں فضائل اتنے کہ بندہ مینشن کرتے کرتے تھک جائے لیکن اس کے فضائل اور برکات ختم ہونے والے نہیں ہیں اللہ ہم سب کو یہ توفیق عطا فرمائے آقا کریم کی ذات پر درود و پاک پڑھنے کی ماشاء اللہ دیٹ واز ٹوڈیز پروگرام آئی ول ناؤ گو ٹو ووڈز دی پزل اف ٹوڈے اینڈ سی وٹ دا کریکٹ آنسر واز انشاءاللہ جی بلس واز دا کریکٹ آنسر 
Today's message is inshallah, keep your recited rushif in abundance, take time out and send peace and blessings upon the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in abundance. We will see many, many blessings in this world and in the hereafter inshallah. Keep watching Madani channel, Sallu ala al-Habib sallallahu ta'ala ala Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. The path of the knowledge is the way to Jannah. The path of the knowledge is the way to Jannah. Jannah.